Good morning. My name is Andrew Keekler. I am honored to be a candidate for confirmation at Ascension Lutheran Church on this special day. I would like to thank my mother and father, Nancy and Kurt, my sister Grace, my godparents, Pat and Lisa Hirsch, my friends and family who are here today, my teachers, Pastor Newberg, spiritual sponsors, and, ed and everyone else who has helped me to get where I am today by teaching me, by teaching and showing me the word of God. They have stood by my side every day, and I know they will continue to do so. God has taught and shown me his love in many ways. First of all, he died on the cross to take away our sins and save me from evil. God can show love in many more, in many more ways. One way that fascinates me is when he reveals to me his miracles so that I can witness and point them out. Some of these miracles I have witnessed are healing and some I have seen in nature. Miracles are used for a purpose. They are used, they are used to show God that God is at work in the world. The greatest miracle to which all others can point out is when Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. God loves everybody. He, just, he doesn't just love himself. That is why he, forget, he forgives and serves people. That is why he has provided me with a family that loves and cares about me. He has given me friends that I, am, that I am able to spend time with and why he has blessed me with my athletic ability, one of, my many, one of many gifts he has given me. When I was baptized, God made me one of his children who he loves regardless of my sin and said he will not ever and he will never change his mind. He wants to show this love to everyone, even especially to all sinners. When Jesus died on the cross to save us, he redeemed our lives, meaning that he saved us by sacrificing himself for our sake. And at the end of his suffering for us, he forgave all of our sins in the world. Therefore, every Sunday, whenever we confess our sins, we know that we will be redeemed and saved from sin and evil. God's redemption has given me new life and continually, and continually gives me a fresh start every time I confess my faith. Thank you and thank you, Lord. My name is Marley Sauer, and I am one of the confirmant candidates this year at Ascension Lutheran Church. I would like to thank my parents, Jill and Steve, my sister Olivia, my grandparents, Marlis, Ed, Cindy, and Steve for getting me to where I am today and helping me always keep my faith and keep my head up even on my worst days. Um, I believe that my Father in Heaven loves me with his whole heart. I know I'm a sinner as we all are. But it amazes me that no matter what I do to do him wrong, he always has it in his heart to forgive me and accepts me as his daughter without fail. I've been going to church ever since I was born, but it wasn't until I came back to Ascension with my family not too long ago, during one of Pastor Steve's sermons, when I truly felt his presence with me, as if he was sitting right in front of me and I could hold his hand. I've never doubted that he's been there watching over me, but in that moment, the Heavenly Father that I had come to know through my parents' faith made himself known to me through his word. By Jesus dying and being raised forever for us, I've seen that redemption is God's way of forgiving our sins and allowing us to live eternal life in his kingdom, of, in his kingdom one day. I often think about what it'll be like to actually be able to walk by his side in heaven, and I think about how perfect it'll be. One of many things that Pastor Steve has said to me in one of his lessons is that we need to stop believing in ourselves and believe only in God the Father. This really stood out to me because I've never thought of believing in yourself to be a bad thing, but unlike the way we love ourselves, God's love for us is unconditional. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and we don't deserve that kind of love. No matter how hard we try to love him as perfectly as possible, we will never be able to fully amount to the way he loves us, but he loves us anyway. In our lives, we will definitely have our ups and downs, but I believe that everything happens to us 
that but I believe that everything that happens to us is because God allows it to happen and there's a reason for it. When I'm having a hard time and I don't understand what to do about it, I just have to stop and realize that God has my back and have faith that he will help me back up. And even when we are experiencing a down, he always manages to bring us back up even if it feels like it takes a long time. We need to go through these ups and downs so we can learn to trust him and be ready one day to live in his perfect heaven. Thank you. Thank you.